Hello viewers, welcome to my channel of Biotechnology Tutorial and Research Lab. Hope that everyone is fine, having good health. I am Dr. Sharif Hussain, Associate Professor, obtained my PhD in Biotechnology from Japan. I taught and did research around 21 years in Japan, Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. I supervised many PhD, MS and undergraduate students at three universities in Saudi Arabia, Malaysia and Japan. I published 210 journal papers including many books, more than 100 publications are ISI and Scopus. Okay, this is my short biography. Let's move to my next talk. Objectives for creating the channel nowadays in the world, high-ranking university demands modern technology-based teaching that is named research-based technological teaching. With view to achieve this requirement, I have created this page for the students, academicians, researchers, and those who are interested in getting innovative scientific information. They can start this type of innovative research in their respective field which is related to the biotechnology. Now title of my presentation, we can see here, Organic Nano Coating Innovation from Corn Leaf Stock for Tablet and Capsule. This belongs to the course of Industrial and Environmental Biotechnology. I have completed this project at the higher university, Saudi Arabia, with my colleagues from Saudi Arabia, India, Malaysia, Sudan, and Jordan, and successfully completed the project. We invented this product, this work first in the world from the corn leaf as feedstock. We published the, this research work in American and European journals. After publishing, university institutions from many countries invited and congratulated us to join the conference in their countries. We presented this innovative work in some countries. Now I am presenting this research work shortly. Let's come to my point first background of my research. The significance of plastic coating materials are increasing rapidly in the pharmaceutical, medical, biomedical as well as food processing industries. Plastic coating are used to keep the product and to maintain the product quality in the pharmaceutical, cosmetic, medical and biomedical industries. Biocoating can be used as tablet and pellet cover, drug and capsule cover. Cellulose biocoating, it means my plastic like cellulose ester, polyvinyl hydroxy valerate and polyhydroxy hexanoid and polylactic lactic acid and polyamide are used for different biomaterials productions in the biomedical and bioengineering industries. Organic, edible and biodegradable biocoating is being produced from seaweeds and cellulose based fiber. We can see now every day a lot of waste around us which pollutes the environment. We can manage this waste by conversion it to the biomaterials like biocoating and biofilm coming after bioprocess technology. It would be 
a useful asset. Usually, coating is made of polymer like polyethylene or polyethylene chloride, which is synthetic and not biodegradable. Coral leaf waste is organic and biodegradable and may be cost effective. It would not be environmentally hazard. Therefore, after harvesting corn, a bulk of leaves can be used in this purpose. There are a few literatures found in this regard from different sources, sources except our present sample of studies. No letters are found directly from the corn leaves. That is why the present research was undertaken to produce nano by coating from corn stalk leaves and to identify the properties of produced nano by coating derived from nanocellulose and to get innovative information in this regard. Materials and methods. Now we can discuss this. Samples, collection and preparation, 5 kg corn stock, new leaves were collected from the pharma field, high region area, Saudi Arabia. Leaves were removed from corn stocks and washed to clean. Washed leaves were slides, then it was blended by blender. After blending, it was again ground for the mixing by motor and pestle and put it to the beaker. pH determination. The pH was determined using pH meter. Cellulose was determined using the method of DNS, dinectosalicylic acid. Sample pyrolysis. Blended and ground sample was heated at 100. 50 degrees centigrade in pressure cooker for 2 hours at 30 psi until the sample was become liquid fiber. After heating the liquid fiber, sample was cooled down. We can see in this slide corn leaves and here leaf slice after cutting. Sodium hypochlorite and acetic acid were added to acidify the sodium hypochlorite solutions until the pH reached 4.5. The fiber were boiled in sodium hypochlorite solutions for 3 hours at 70 to 80 degrees centigrade, whereby the ratio of fiber to sodium hypochlorite solutions was set to 1 is to 30. The blessing process was repeated for five times until fiber became white and then fi filtered. After being filtered, the residue was washed for several times with distilled water and dried in, in the air. The bleach cellulose obtained was heated to about 7 to 80 degrees centigrade with sodium sulfite solutions for two hours. The fibers were filtered, washed and dried in the air. After being dried, the fibers are treated in 17.5% sodium hydroxide solutions for two hours. The residue was washed for several times with distilled water. Figure 2 you can see here, fiber in acid hydrolysis to produce the nanoparticles and fiber uh, wash after acid hydrolysis. We can see the difference of these two fibers before hydrolysis and uh, before wash and after, after washing. Nanoparticle preparations by acid hydrolysis, fiber samples was hydrolyzed by sulfuric acid to make it micro to nano size particles for 12 hours. The water bath was used during the process of hydrolysis occurred 
after 12 hours the samples were separated by separation funnel and washed by distilled water five times and the particle size was judged by TEM plastilizer mixer acid hydrolysis polymeryl chloride cellulose nestas powder and water was added with the, with the samples later polymeryl chloride and glycerin were added with the mixture of samples and waited for 10 minutes to mix up oil then the mixer was heated by pyrolysis method as ASTM standard until visual plasticity in the oven for bioplastic uh, coating materials. Figure 3 you can see here uh, nanocellulose productions, nanoparticles size and we produced after acid hydrolysis and here we can see the pyrolysis and uh, plastilizer. After plastilizer it becomes uh, plastilized. Figure 4 we can see different uh, shapes of nano coating with color. Different shape nano coating with colors, flat shaped, long shaped, different types of shapes. Usually flat shaped for capsule, long shaped for the uh, flat shape for the tablet and long shape uh, for the capsule. The samples are taken uh, it out for the oven and kept in the room temperature for cooling down for 10 minutes. It was put in the aluminium foils to make it dry containing as nano biofilm coatings to make the molding. Finally it was oven dried at 80 degree centigrade. The cellulose biocoating was used for different tests for fitness. One absorption test. For the water absorption test, the nano biocoating were dried in an oven for a specific time and temperature then placed into the desiccator to cool. Immediately upon cooling, the nano bio coating are wet. The materials were then immersed in water at agreed upon conditions. Open 23 degree for 24 hours. The specimen were removed, patted dry with a lint free cloths and weight diameter of this was 5 cm and 1 mm thickness after drying water absorption or was calculated. Absorption test for nanocellulose and biocoating before dying. We can see here the absorption test. Actually absorption it depends on the hours, how many hours it should be absorbed. Nanocellulose particle size measurement. We did uh, the measurement of nanocellulose uh, particle and it, it is 30 nm. Burning test for nanocellulose by coating. Order test, color or flame, speed of burning, spark test are done by burning according to the ASTM, American standard for testing and materials. Burning test, it was burned by using gas burner and the smell was compared with the synthetic film. Spray coating test, spray coating dye was used at the mode of applications. It was attached properly with the nanocellular bio coating and dried after one hour. Crack test, 10 kg of weights was pelled down on the nanocellular bio coatings from one meter of height. There was no crack on its. Chemical test, chemical test like potassium, carbonate, chloride, sodium are determined by different meters and got positive results compared to the synthetic plastic film. Synthetic plastic means synthetic plastic coating. Uh, in the laboratory using the EN standard, it means European norm standard. Pellet and capsule shape coating. Nanocellulose bio coating with spray coating test and for tablet shape and capsule a capsule shape. Result and discussion absorption test.
crack test, burning test, spray coating test, and chemical test were done successfully. From the result, it has been seen that negligible water 0.1 percent was observed by biocoating. It was considered for synthetic coating as mentioned the result of ASTM 0 to 0 to 0 0.16. The result found within the ASTM standard. According to the plastic coating by ASTM, no swellers shrink held while tested by weight pressure. The result was similar to the result mentioned by ASTM. The data of chemical element test like potassium, carbonate, chloride, sodium were measured and represented positive data compared to the synthetic plastic coating in the laboratory using the EN standard. From the results, it was observed that organic based nanobio coating was better than synthetic based uh, plastic coatings depends upon its different properties uh, identified by ASTM, American standard for testing and materials. Therefore, it can be discussed that both organic cellulose and starch based edible and biodegradable nanocellulose biocoating may be used as biomedical and medical components like tablet and capsule in the manufacturing industry. Conclusion and recommendations. It can be concluded that corn leaf cellulose successfully used to produce nanocellulose biocoating. It can be recommended that other plants leaves cellulose can also be used like mustard leaves, corn leaves and cabbage leaves. As a scientist our work is to prove the corn leaf fiber can be used as feedstocks of nanobiocoating. Currently hundreds of scientists are doing this research work to measure the effectiveness of costing and after feasibility test it could be produced commercially. The nanocellulose based nano bio coating can be used for tablet and capsule coating products which can be used in medical, biomedical, cosmetic, pharmaceutical and bioengineering, and bioengineering industries. If any companies offers to start this innovative project as R&D programs, we are interested in working with you to develop this uh, in your R&D program. If you would like to get information on the update, innovative lecture, data, research, keep in touch with our biotechnology tutorial and research lab doing subscription. Thank you very much for listening, watching, subscribing with our channel. Our article published in the Data in Brief Science Direct Journal and this is the website. You can see our article here. This is uh, uh, impact factor 1.12. Thank you very much for watching.